Some more little tidbits. In caps and displays. What's an in cap? Well, you have the sh you have the the aisles. That's what they're called. Got it. The aisles you have know, stuff you know. And the actual shelves like the the aisle is stuff you walk down. The stuff that the products are on. Those those things. Yeah, those things. The ends of those are in caps. And most of the time, those are displays. I just do that for fun. Just, displays are where we put sell stuff, sell items. Little extra sell items. Because they're on sale. Because a shelf only has a certain amount. So if a shelf only holds like 20 yogurts, you know, four high, five deep, and you people come by and get two at a time, or four at a time, or a whole case at a time, it's going to go out very quickly. So if they keep, if they keep coming back there and filling the shelf, or have an area where you have extra stuff, or either you could run it, like carry it over there, a couple, couple over there, people, or people can walk by and say, "Oh, that's on sale," and there's some right there. Let me grab it. That's the idea. And our displays get built beginning of the sale week and taken down at the end of the sale week. So they're built, technically they're built Tuesdays because they should be ready by Wednesday at 8 o'clock in the morning. And they're taken down and whenever they're built they're taken down at the same time. So like, um, today's Tuesday. So we took whatever product was on the current display off and put the new stuff on there. It's also where you find holiday items in the dairy and frozen departments, like the pumpkin spice creamer, the holiday cookies, those sections, wherever they're at, those are our displays. Because they're sell items or they're stuff that's seasonal, like holiday items, that has no permanent stuff, that has no permanent spot on the shelf. So you just put it there. They're kind of easy, during the holidays, they're kind of easy to see where displays are at for certain departments. Uh, for like meat and deli, it's not as easy but every department has at least one display. And like I said, grocery has displays more or less on every end cap. It's really easy to, it's just simple to learn that word end cap because it's, so many people ask where the sour cream is at. And in my store, it's on the opposite end of the, of the frozen end cap. And people, I say, oh, it's just around the corner. So you should just walk around the corner. It's on your right. People just keep walking though. They just keep walking around the corner I'm like, I could say in cap, but you don't know what I'm talking about. So I have to say, oh, it's around the corner, like in front of the milk. And then they still get confused, because they're like, milk's here. I look here, and there's donuts in front of the milk. I'm like, yeah, I look past that. Oh, I thought it was frozen, because it's behind the door with the other frozen. I'm like, yeah, but it, it's not. If you just look, it's, it's sour cream and cottage cheese. Anyway. So ideally... The display, the display is supposed to be packed out, meaning you just put as much stuff on there as possible. That way, you know, people, when they're grabbing stuff, it doesn't really matter how much they grab, you can, they can just grab however much they want or whatever. My old boss had a mentality of, if it sells really good, sure, put, some, put a lot up there. If it's not going to sell a lot, so don't put putting a lot on there, because whatever doesn't sell, it doesn't go back on the shelf at the end of the display week take it to the back room. And we don't put whole cases on the, on the display, you have to take it out of the box. So now you have loose product in the back room, you gotta put, you gotta put in milk crates or other boxes and it just, it's just a big mess. So, that's the whole idea. And if we ever run low on stuff that's meant for the display, we can always pull store bread items and put on the display just to cover ourselves. So that's kind of, people have also asked, like, they walk by the display, and we have yogurt up there, and they're like, oh, is it the only yogurt you have? I'm like, no, there's a whole section of yogurt around the corner if you just go look. Like, like the, the, the display sections are going to change. There's always, like for dairy, there's always cheese on sale, there's always yogurt on sale, there's always juice on sale. 
but the particular brand always changes. It kind of cycles. There's a cycle to it. Like Sargento, Kraft, store brand. It kind of cycles, like for cheese. For yogurt, there's like Chobani, uh, Dannon, um, Yoplait, even though I've never seen Yoplait on a display for some reason. Because I, I know that the companies have to pay to be on our, to be on a display, so I guess that's why. Uh, for juice, you have Tropicana, Simply, Florida's Natural, Store Brand, it's all cycle throughs. Cycles through. Just like our cell weeks, when we, like, we do cell weeks, like certain things kind of go together with cells. Um, yeah, also, kind of just a weird side note, the pallets. Most people think of pallets as like these big, you know, wooden things. You see, you see all the time. Sure, we have some wooden pallets. For the most part, they're actually plastic. Why? Well, they're probably cheaper to make. They're definitely more robust. Every time we move a wooden pallet, it breaks. Like every time, it just breaks. Then you got splinters and nails sticking out. Piece of wood is over there on the floor. Can't get a pallet jack or a hand jack over it. It's just. And plastic is also lighter, obviously. You can stack them together because they have you know, the kind of, what are they called? Like, a, like cups stacked together. There's a visual for you. Pallet, plastic pallets can set together like that to save room. So, I mean, for the most part, a pallets are plastic. And there's a few different sizes, like our milk pallets are more square shaped than the regular pallets. Our egg, our egg pallets are actually wooden ones. That's one of the few wooden ones. Um, speaking, speaking of holidays, don't wait. I mentioned four stouts. For holiday items, sell items, we get four stouts. So we get a crap load of stuff that they think we're going to sell. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But for holidays, get in there early as possible. I'm not saying you have to get in there a month early to get a frozen turkey for Thanksgiving. I'm saying don't wait till the last minute because for one, if everybody waits till the last minute, it's going to be super busy the day before and also a good chance we've already sold out of everything because there's a set quantity of stuff that gets forced out or that we can order for holidays. So if you go in there last minute and it's sold out, that's all we have for the year. Just don't wait. And as far as holidays, most holidays were busy up to, up to the day before. And then the day of the holiday, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, it's just dead. I mean, it kind of makes sense because everybody's at home. But some people think, oh, you're busy on the day of the holiday. No, you're busy pretty much like two, two and a half weeks up to the day of. And the day up, the day before, super busy. Anyway. Yes, we get stuff. We put stuff out early, like you see, like right now. It's it's September third, and we have pumpkin spice stuff, like Halloween, like Halloween candy, Halloween sugar cookies, out there for the end of October. Why? Probably because they want to make sure you have plenty of time to buy stuff. We don't choose when we put that stuff out. They have a set time of when they force it out. And we wish we, we and we should have it out, so that's that. Yeah, that's pretty much it.